and welcome to the hot lap. And a welcome to a very wet, windy Silverstone. If you're outside of the UK, it is in the UK. It is the British home of the British Grand Prix, but not today. Today, it's the home of the British Touring Car Championship. It is wet. It is the penultimate weekend for the BTCC. Who is going to be in the title fight? We've got Tom Ingram, Jake Hill, Colin Turkington, Josh Cook, Ash Sutton, all in the mix. And as you can see behind me, most of them are probably going to be members of the BRDC club. So three races here. It is windy. It is wet. I don't think the weather's going to get too much better, but I absolutely can't wait. Welcome to Silverstone. So, welcome to the Luffield stand. I'm in seat number 330, which is kind of near the top. Now, as I may have mentioned earlier on a few videos, for Silverstone, sitting here costs what? 300, 400 pounds? But here, for the touring cars, it's free. support car paddock at Silverstone. Inside Silverstone itself actually. We don't know, we haven't dissected it or anything. There's a magic tunnel near Cops, which uh, allows it, uh, as nicely allowed us in to the support car paddock. So we're looking at the Porsche Carreras, the Porsche Sprint cars. Sadly, no, no Formula 4 cars are here at the moment because they're currently out racing. We're in between the two touring car races. So hopefully we're going to just have a walk around, kind of like a Martin Brundle's grid walk, obviously, um, the low budget pound shot wish version. So, I mean, as you, as you can see here, this is one of the uh, this is uh, one of the Porsche one of the Porsches. We have two of the Porsches, three, Charles four. Rainford oh my god! And I mean, that's a lot. That is, that's a lot of Porsches. That's uh, Charles Rainford. And as you can see, the the, the, the sponsors there. Does that? that <laughs> did you? Okay, you've got to. Uh, um, all I'm going to do is just, just, just have a look at under the bumper what it says. What does it say, Isabel? No, I'm not reading that. You're not reading that, no? no yeah, yeah you're right. Mum will probably get slightly upset. It says King Fanuc, but obviously with a D. And a K and a C and an I. And, but yeah, um, I, <laughs> I don't. Well, but there you go. Think, things you see in the things you see in the paddock. Absolutely crazy. So over here, we, let's just walk around. The interesting thing that obviously probably only sports cars are going to have. If you want to zoom into there, there's that little tag there. What does it do? Well, unfortunately, if you're someone like Lance Stroll and you're going to be driving one of these cars, chances are you're going to end up in the gravel. And if there's little red things there that help her uh, drag it out of the gravel, put it on the uh, yeah. yeah, put it on the flat truck. Don't you think so, Isabel? Yeah. Say something. Yeah. Other than yes. Toe pulling. Thing. Toe pulling? We got yeah. toe pulling? No, like you tow the car. You tow the, the car. Oh, yeah. very good, very good. You tow the car. And it's really interesting to see um, some of the mechanics at work. They are, they are obviously brushing the car, they're washing the car. Do you know why they wash the car? As in, they, they, they constantly polish it. Make especially, it look nice. well, yeah. It does make you look nice. They especially do it in Formula One as well. Because if you get lots of dust and dirt on the car, the aerodynamics, it will slow the car down. So they go so fast. There we go. And add, 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 add a bit of drag. You learn, you learn, you learn something new here. So we're there. We've got, we've got a very speedy car coming past us. There we go. Okay. So we're standing just behind me is the Formula Four high tech garage. High tech GP. Why is that significant? Well, because high tech. They're in. I believe they're in F2, F3. They have their own teams. They're kind of a big deal in the junior formulas. Now. Why is that significant to Formula One other than the juniors? Well, there are rumours, conspiracy theorists, stand up, get your tin full hat on, spoon of salt, whatever, whatever you want, but there's a rumour that they may, they may well be wanting to purchase, to purchase the Alpine F1 team or have a say in it. As we know, all these rumours about Alpine being for sale, could they sell to high tech? So we just met Abby Eaton. Yeah. Well, you, you met Abby Eaton. Yeah. yeah. We talked to her. Cool. She finished second. How happy was she about the back marker that held her up during the race? Definitely not happy. No, she, what do you reckon she said in the car? 
Uh, she did say that she was almost putting up a middle finger. She was super angry about it. She was super it. angry? Yeah. And was it dangerous, she said? Yeah, she said the most dangerous, that corner was the most dangerous part of the track. Yeah, I know, yeah, he cut, I mean, basically, he cut her up, didn't he? Yeah, he did, he did. And he was the teammate of the person that won? Yeah. So if you were a steward, what would you think about that, if you were the boss? That's not right. That's not fair. No, it's not fair, Considering is Considering there was a blue light, he should have let her pass. Absolutely. It was, yeah, yeah. Basically, this guy held her up for a whole lap. Yeah. Absolutely shocking. Here at Restart Racing, not too long ago, there was a, a member of the Hamilton family. Now, as you know, at the time of recording, Lewis is in Singapore. That leaves either his dad or Nick. Dad, don't really come to touring cars. Nick Hamilton, well, that's a big yes. And he was seen going into we start racing probably about half an hour before the actual race. What does that mean? What does that mean, I hear you say? He was interviewed on the grid, didn't really comment much, but he said he likes to keep his hand in. Now, we start racing, as we know, is a fairly newish team. Does that mean 2025 Nick Hamilton on the BTCC grid? Yes, let's hope so. Have a good one. <laughs> so that concludes our quick walk around the pits. As you probably see, we got signatures from uh, Turkington. I gave him some advice about Jake Hill. Is he going to take it? I don't know. We are. Uh, Bumped into Nick Hamilton, well, we saw Nick Hamilton. I say bumped into, of the loosest variety. We've got Abby Eaton's auto, autobiography, no, autograph, not autobiography. Hopefully she's gonna write one, but not yet. Which was good, she finished second in the first Porsche race and kind of got screwed over by a back marker. So that, that, was quite, that was quite interesting, the way she felt about it. It's the same that, the way I feel about when Lance Stroll hits me on a PlayStation. So uh, there we go, we've we got something in common. I mean, round 25, 26, 27, as we're going to Brands Hatch for, as usual, what will hopefully be a tight on decider. But I imagine we'll look back and see how pivotal Silverstone is, not only for the BTCC, but Formula 4 as well. We've seen Colin Turkington actually do better. Tom Ingram didn't have a bad weekend. Jake Hill didn't have a bad weekend. So, anyway, I digress. Like, subscribe hit that notification button so you don't miss another video we do rally touring car f1 bit of gaming and a bit of speaking to you soon thank you very much